Okay, hopefully you guys get a good view, if you good view of this. So, what I'll do now so you can have an idea of what the go is, where you're making marks and ma measuring and stuff. Try and put it so your, foot, your magnets aren't near the coil, because the coil will pull it. Give it false power, I do so. The, the, coils, the, the coil magnets are there, so just bring it over here a bit. So, I'll say, I'll go over this fin here. That fin I'll mark there. And that fin will block, line up the very end of that um, coil there. So there's no magnets, nothing's pulling it. So now, I'll go clockwise until that lines up. Now that's on the um, virgin side of that keyway. Now if I move it, now it stops. So I'm about probably 8 degrees, I'd say. So that's back on the keyway, uh, you know, proper metal. I filed that key, filed the key bay just back a bit. So about there. So it's probably seven or eight degrees actually. Hardly took any off at all. But see how you can work out how far you've gone. If you if you went all the way, you would have 18, 18 degrees on this particular saw. But yeah. So there. This virgin one. So I go like that. See how much movement there is because the keyway has to move just a bit. You really got to feel it, guys, because that's where it should be. Hang on, yeah, that way, clockwise, line it up. That's your virgin material, and when you get back that way, you feel the keyway kick in. So it's about eight, eight or nine degrees. So that's where you're going to do it and see how she goes tomorrow. Hopefully, we'll get her running, um, going fast. Hopefully. All right, over now, guys. It's getting late. I'm going to bed. Yeah, mate. I um, thought you'd give you a quick update. I put the two rings in, uh, poured a bit more of this difference on the cylinder, and now I'm uh, doing the timing on the timing wheel. Now, as I said before, there's 20 fins on this wheel, and I divide 20 into 360, so between each fin is about 18 degrees. So find a spot where you want it, and say that one there, that screw in that fin. Yeah, that's screwing that fin there. If you want um, 18 degrees, 9 degrees will be halfway. It gives you a way to measure how much you're moving. So I'll undo uh, just before halfway, so say about 40 degrees. So it doesn't have to move that much, about that much. So I'll show you how I take the flywheel off. Five strips are on just enough to hang on to the flywheel and the weight of the saw. I like lift it up and have all the weight on that, but not enough um, strength to actually break off the flywheel there. So it's just nipped on there, and these are very flexible tip ones, so they bend, bend themselves, so I don't want to break anything, but you click it on, hold the hole, sort of weight like that, zip tie these little arm um, paws back, take it out of the road with a hammer, give it um, a sharp crack, and this came off easy, really easy this one, so I was surprised. So I'll take that floor wheel off, what we got inside. Do we have a keyway or we are um it's just a groove used to know don't want that on no more there we go okay we've got a wood rough key so that's all right that's good now i can take a bit off that put back on and adjust it so it's an easy one to get to easy to pull apart easy to get to i'm happy with that but anyway i want about you know 18 to have nine i want about four or five degrees the most absolute most so I won't have to take too much off that. You stuff all really turn a little bit. So I'll get on to that. I'll hang on to that with vice scripts. Put the vice script in the um the uh, what do you call it, the vice and actually get a flat fly and just take a little piece off that. That's it. Right guys, I'll get this together and I'll show you what I mean when I'm doing.